It's April 24th, 2012, and this is the latest revision of the tab torch. You can see the LEDs on there. There's four LEDs connected to a jewel thief. And so this is now my flashlight, which can be taken to Nepal. And the power source for these LEDs is in this bucket here, and it is the tab torch we've talked about. The power source is this Brillo pad. There's a sponge in here, and then there is the actual tab. So that's what's causing the lights to go on. As you can see, when I stick the tab in the sponge, the LEDs go on. So the tab torch is working fine. Using the perf board was a problem with a bad soldering iron. Kept getting cold solder joints and that held things up. But it is nice to uh, finally have this result. And uh, there's just water with Drano in it, with um, crystals actually of sodium hydroxide. You could use potassium hydroxide in a country where you don't have a supermarket available. You can take ashes and run them through uh, cold water and a cloth and collect potassium hydroxide like people used to do when they made soap and that would be your electrolyte and then you can find plenty of these tabs to create the effect. So it's just the sponge is just sitting nested inside this uh, stainless steel pad which does not get consumed and it's just saturated with the sodium hydroxide solution about 20 percent and this is the the uh, positive lead is going to the stainless steel and the negative lead is going to the aluminum. So just remember, aluminum is negative. Negative. And I've made this so I can carry it about. I can put this lid on. And uh, so that can be carried around. When I shake it, it gets brighter. So you can see as you get the electrolyte saturating this more and that means that when I turn off the light here as you can see it's um, it's quite bright it's certainly bright enough to to read by and uh, flashlight can be used as a flashlight you can see that that says dryer. So you can get by with it. You can navigate with it. And you can read at night. And that's just using a tab. So that's the that's the tab torch. And I will be taking it to Nepal so that I can carry it around. It's, um, rather like it actually. It's hard in video to see how bright it really is. But you can definitely navigate by it. It's bright enough to to illuminate the floor. And it gets brighter the more sodium hydroxide that you add. So I have to turn on the light here. So that's the tab torch, and so I've made some revisions to it. I used these little pins that I use for Arduino, and that way, if I want to disconnect, I can do a quick disconnect, and then re and I can reconnect them. Sorry, it's hard to hold this camera at the same time and plug this thing in, but. Anyway, the both both of these have these quick disconnects on them, and that's uh, that's it.